in today's video, one of the most competitive rotation proof decks I've been playing with this month. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name is Hello Good Game, and I'm pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena Deck Guide video. We'll be breaking down our deck list in depth, as always, discussing the strategies as well as synergies held within, providing you with a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively. Furthermore, we will demonstrate against the best decks as well as players in game via our Mythic Rank gameplay footage, concluding with our deck review, channel news, and everything else groovy. If you want to help out, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, and you can even join our community Discord. Link for that is in the link tree link within the description below, just above the deck list. Kick back, relax, and enjoy today's video. It's a new lap record! Here we are. Rotation Proof Rakdos Discard is the name of the game, and uh, it gets the job done, I'll tell you what. First and foremost, Inti should be like a, probably a $35 card as far as I'm concerned at this point. A 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target attacking creature. It gains trample until the end of turn. That is a... Nice, because you can um, stack those plus one counters. They're going to hang around. Trample on the turn is decent for damage output. That consistency remains quite high here for us, turn after turn. Uh, always, you know, applying it to our strongest creature, which, you know, they would typically be incentivized to block. Now they're not. They'll block something smaller. Um, but really, the, you know, the, the true key here, whenever you discard one or more cards, exile the top card of your library, and uh, you may play that card until your next end step. So any discarding on your opponent's turn will allow us to retain access to that card in exile during our turn till our next end step, right? Which is really cool because typically you have to you know, kind of spend mana or do something to discard a card to gain access to that. Here, we'll already have it done, uh, which is nice. That will come into play within the deck be the Harvester of Misery and the Trumpeting Carnosaur. Both of them have channel. We are, with rotation, losing our channel lands. Okay, now that's something that we would like to run with Inti. You can run them until rotation, right? But this is for the people who don't have them. For two, target creature gets minus two, minus two until the end of turn via the discard and via the discard as well. For three, deal three damage to target creature or planeswalker which is really quite nice. Um, you can, you know, use them in conjunction with one another, which is uh, really cool as well, as they are both instant speed for us. Um, and then again, because of Inti's ability, we're going to draw a card off the top of our library into Exile that we can cast until our next end step, which if we're casting or discarding these, I should say, on our opponent's turn will be very, very nice for us. We can do some discarding on our own turn, don't worry. Uh, one of my favorites will be Liliana of the Veil for three as a three loyalty planeswalker plus one. Each player discards a card. Thank you very much. Uh, that's going to trigger Inti. So typically the plus one of Lily uh, is a double-edged blade because we have to discard as well. It's not just our opponent. So unless we have an empty hand, it can kind of suck. Not with Inti because you retain access to that card that you threw via the one into exile for the turn which is really really cool furthermore minus two target player sacrifices a creature which is just straight up removal that hangs around you know uh and minus six separate all permanent target players uh controls into two piles then that player will sacrifice a pile of their choice which is fine you know not your main goal but if you get it cool really good against control decks to eat their mana base or ramp decks in general um, but we've got a lot of removal, so it shouldn't be our, our main goal. Uh, like I said, through the Harvester, through the Carnosaur, Liliana is her self-removal as well. Um, talking about that instant speed discard, uh, while we're on topic here, it will be the Bitter Triumph. Two mana, instant speed as an additional casting cost. Either pay three life or discard a card to destroy a creature or planeswalker. And again, this is going to be really nice to use on your opponent's turn while you have an Inti in play. Forcing our opponents to discard with a Lily and removing their creatures uh, 
through you know the variety of removal we have in build we can now capitalize on that and bring it back into play for ourselves via tiny bone the pickpocket one mana one one with death touch whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may cast a target non-land permanent card from their graveyard and spend mana as though it were any color to cast that spell which is again really really cool with the discard with all of the removal in which we have a little bit more of to talk about three copies of cut down one mana instant speed destroying creature with total power and toughness five or less two copies of Lockthwain Scorn, target creature at sorcery speed, gets minus three, minus three until the end of turn. You gain two life. Cut down can be used in conjunction with Virtue and the Harvester of Misery to reduce its total power and toughness, allowing you to take it easily. We will have a secondary two drop creature via Deep Cavern Bat. One, one, flying, lifelink. Whenever it enters the battlefield, look at opponent's hand, which is great value, all in its own. You may exile a non-land card from it until it leaves the battlefield, which is really, really good to do. Um, specifically, if you can get one of those later cards of their hand. Um, early on, we want to draw out removal. So the removal doesn't come back and hit the bat. And then we can get something more permanently. However, early on, it's just nice to see their hand. Will you need to protect Inti? Or will they be focused on your bat? And you can just kind of go along with your own game plan because we have a lot of high priority creatures that they will want to remove and it makes the bat almost like a non-threat to them which is really cool um tiny bones you got to remove that inti you got to remove that let's get into uh, some of the bread and butter here gix yogmoth praetor three mana three three whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents uh you know its controller may pay one if they do uh they may draw a card this is really really nice because we have so many attackers specifically the trample that Inti generates via his ability is consistent damage output for Gix's ability. Also, the bat. We can pay seven to X, uh, sorry, discard X cards from our hand, exiling the top X cards of our opponent's library and play lands and cast spells without paying their mana from among those cards. You know, not something that we're focused on, but uh, definitely something that is available to us late game. Uh, again, keep in mind, this is a discard ability for your boy oh yes 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 <laughs> and then you know just like good value in the deck as well you know we like to win matches obviously uh we'll be using four copies of the preacher three mana two four with death touch whenever it attacks um the player with the most life or tied with the most life create a one one uh lifelink token and whenever it attacks well you have the most life or tied with the most life uh, you're going to draw a card and lose one life. So this is really nice if you're tied with life because then they both trigger. Ah, B-E-A, beautiful. You can make a token. You can grab a card, uh, which is really nice. Then we will have also Shieldred in the deck. Three copies of this. Four, five for four with Death Touch. Whenever you draw, you gain two. Whenever they draw, they lose two. And then two copies of the Bone Horde Dracosaur for five as a five, five with Flying and First Strike. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top two cards of your library and you may play them this turn. If you exile the land, create a 3-1 dino. And if you exile the non-land, create a treasure token. Very nice. Within that treasure, allowing us to ramp into the virtue of persistence for seven, an enchantment. And at the beginning of your upkeep, target creature from a graveyard will enter the battlefield under your control. Thank you very much. Coming full circle, that is absolutely phenomenal via the discarded Carnosaur and the discarded Harvester of Misery that can re-enter from the grave alongside any other creatures that we may have discarded along the way with Inti's ability. Okay, but before we forget, the Carnosaur is a 7-6 six for 6 with Trample, and when it enters the battlefield, discover 5, reveal it, excuse me, cards off the top of your library until you reveal a non-land with mana value 5 or less, and you can cast that spell for free, thank you, and the Harvester of Misery, is a 5-4 with Menace, and when it enters the battlefield, other creatures get minus 2, minus 2 until the end of turn. That's actually pretty cool. Acting as a field wipe within the deck, and simultaneously also a creature, which is pretty decent. So that's the deck. Uh, we will utilize the Myrix as a creature land alongside the Restless Vents, which actually works quite good. So Might tokens are generated for 4 mana here via its self-tapping as well as the 3 you pay. And the Vents attacking for 4, the 3 you pay and itself for 4. 
It's a 2-3 with Menace. Whenever you attack, you may discard a card and draw a card. Did you just say discard a card? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So that's really good with Inti as well, obviously. And then, you know, the theater is just throwing stuff into the grave for the virtue, making sure that we find what we need for the dual land. The cliffs comes in early, the springs. We have to pay life for, but the consistency is really nice as we do lose those slow lands. And then some basics to make sure that we're filling out the build. It is a standard deck, 25 creatures, 10 non-creatures, a 3.1 average mana value. So because of this, we're actually going to be running 25 land, and you'll never see it anyways. Um, but you know, it's there. Um, and uh, you know, it really does help support the heavier curve, and it's not much of a like um, a hindrance because of Inti's ability. Again, what we're building the deck around. If you have too many land, discard them. You know, if you don't have enough land, discard other things to draw them. You know, uh, it will really flow nicely for you. Uh, not to mention the Gixis command. So you should have everything you need within your matches here. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord. Uh, of course, um, the link tree link will have a bunch of goodies in it as well. And uh, I got distracted with my singing there for a second. Have a magical day. Enjoy the video. All right. Get out of here. <laughs> Oogly doogly. Keeping Sarvin. <laughs> he has to, got to stop doing that. Binny Pones in play. <laughs> um, and we're going to be slow here, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello, hello, hello. I want you in my hand, my hand. <laughs> I'll get that clip uh, so I can play it. And you will have a form of reference into... Uh, what is this might pay off it might also bite us the discard so good before tiny and toss preacher we're tapped out of course so it doesn't matter we can't necessarily take it here anyways Okay, goodbye, Shieldred. We do get a double draw, though. And that's just as bad. Maybe worse. Yeah, maybe worse. Whew! Okay. The uh, reflex, though, is to take Shieldred. We could just grab it back. I think I'm going to do one of these, though, because I don't care about the bat. It does nothing. They're going to kill Tenny? Tenny Ten Tens? No, they wouldn't dare. Would they block it? Probably. I should have minused and played their bat against them. That's what I should have done. But I want to just keep plussing. I know the minus is good, but like the plus is real. Yes, some life gain is good. Can you remove Gix, though? Any creatures are dead on entry. Not that I want to. I'll always try and attack first. Ooh, that one gets blasted, though. That's actually really annoying. I mean, the minus wouldn't be terrible. What's that last card, though, is the thing? That's what I want to know. A land! Oh, I'm such a loser, dude. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah. Well, I guess the, the the removal would have been better than discarding a land for them. They double attack. They have to, don't they? But the cool thing is here is we get one for free. We let them hit for two. We take damage. That's okay. And then they need to play like another blocker, right? Oh, I think they only gained one life. Three life they gained. Oh, because this had life gain. That was right in front of us. Why didn't I see that? Oh, a little bit frustrating. I misplay all the time. And that's, you know, I'm not hide like you know, an average person, you know. Enjoy the game for yourselves as well. Um... Keep Lily and just force the draw. Like they're gonna they're definitely not gonna let us have it. They're gonna take Gix. Who would uh you know allow such a thing? Creature can stay, but now we get to keep Lily. And that's a big deal. Oh hello. We can't complain, you know, it's it's kind of what we're up to as well. Our preacher will stay, and we will finally remove our own Lily, though. And I think she did a good job. Now, we, uh, you know, just leave it all to what is the shuffling algorithm. How we... Bro is brutal. We have less life. Um, you know, it's fine. Our tokens are here, which is great. That Murex might win us the game. No block. It's yours to 17. Ooh, nice draw. You're really hitting your cards perfectly, I see. Do I toss it? Absolutely, you do. We need the big monies. That's not it. At least we're getting it out of the way. Right? Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still important. Getting it out of the way is no joke. No joke. No joke. Nice draws, I wish. Go, go, Gadget Mirex. We only need 19 more of them. I say this game is uh, pretty rad. Cool, cool. I mean, you know, we're working through them, working through them. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, okay. Eight lands. I think we've been throwing a lot of them away too, haven't we? Two of them for certain. Now this is actually more problematic than I'd like to admit. It's very good. How many more lands in a row do you think we can get? Well, you could have had a bat. Yeah, and what good was that? Hashtag not at all. I forgot about that. I was counting on that plus. So these 1-1 one, one attacks are failing. Ouch. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was gonna... They were gonna block the one that was a 2-2 two, two in my mind. Because of the Inti discard. Really? What a strange turn of events. Just because they're going to bring it back or give it indestructible or something? Okay. Much better. I mean, at least they take it this way, right? I'm going straight for the creatures. We don't have the mana to do both. No blocks required. Okay, it's a line. Nice. There's some life gain here. Does that take them to five? It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take their shoulder. Oh my god. It kills all my creatures, so I can't do it. Otherwise, I would. This will trigger Inti. Into our own shielder. That's quite funny. Nice life gain. Right, hitting for four. Of that being uh, lifelink, which is quite nice. We'll keep their, uh, theirs and play ours can go to exile. They have nine poison counters, I'm just realizing. <laughs> I had no idea we were like doing so well on that front. Nine counters, two life, one card in hand. This is still a match somehow. <laughs> oh man, good game, homie. If you just believe, I do. I'm believing here for you. Okay, okay. 19 more damage to go. Maybe more because shoulders life gain. I want to say out loud that we just played Shoulder. It hasn't been there the whole match, okay? 
settle down. If you're just tuning in, you know. And it's their shoulder on top of that, okay? So settle down. They're up to four. That's quite good. Very nice, very nice. Gumdrop is a go. And I think that's it. Probably no attack. Let's see what their last card was. Ooh, a good one. Um, yeah. I guess we should have discarded the bat to put Trample on Shouldered. My bad. I didn't even count it. I don't count, you know. It looks like enough, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do this? Oh, it's, see? That's how it's exact. It's perfect. I couldn't be... More on. All right, going first, a miracle. We are in slow. Which is a rare opportunity to take advantage of while going first. Our entire hand is removal. The uh, algorithm is going to give us a control deck. Avi. You can tell when you get a hand like this. Oh, absolutely. But maybe Lily Una. Can, uh, can hammer down with some plus abilities here via the discard. And my cutdowns, we already know, are absolutely useless, so they can go. Can she survive? Maybe. They're not drawing here, it's just as a surveil, which is suspect. What are you putting in the grave? Oh, it's an Esper deck? Usper Control? Continue throwing cut downs. They will remove Gix. That's why we uh, keep the second. With Gaze, I think they are a reanimator deck. Like they want something specific in their grave, I feel like. Um, okay. The Tatera. I mean, one of your friends has to leave. Did someone say double draw? No, they said triple draw. Okay, I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. Triple draw is too much. You can't take that. You're not allowed. Going first? Really? Are you sure? Don't ask them that, HGG. Just roll with it. Don't give them the chance to take it back. You know they will. Oh, you're going to duress me. Duress-Adelphia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't do it. Again. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I like that. Can't complain. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Look. 
at these. I don't want to toss Inti in case they remove Inti. Ah, sucks, but the draw is good. It's more land to discard with Inti, that's all. Go Gary, okay. Green and Blark. Grabbing a land. It's probably using the Obliterator. I understand what's happening to me. And I do not like it. <laughs> We're going to toss a mountain. Take our hit, double draw. Anything good? Criminal. Oh, the obliterator. Yeah, 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 okay. How does he know? How do you not know? Have you played this game every day for the last five years? Oh, no? Just me? Uh, okay. I guess I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> it's true. I mean, it gets to a point. Will I discard and trigger my Inti? Oh, absolutely. It would be my utmost pleasure. Good game. On the Drizaw. I'd like to get after it. This is a really nice opening hand to go fast with. I think we'll take that. La Ramuo, which is just so sad. I'm not going to play Inti into removal. It's my best card. The bats can just kind of see what we're dealing with. I understand it itself will be removed, but let's just take a look at uh, what is. Okay. Pay life for that. Wow. Oh. The draw is good, but they've got two. Go, go, gadget, Inti. Attack. Um, discard slow land. I already have a slow land. And I'd rather keep the creature lent. That sucks. Hashtag LOL. Three in hand that we don't see. Draw engine is there. Don't shoot there. Touch my boy. Okay. Secondary draw. Ooh, 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 ooh. I guess we toss a preacher on attack. Land is good, land is good, land is good. Uh oh, right on time. Hello, hello, hello. We've come to take your trash or trash. <laughs> I found out what episode that's from when I always say that. Uh, it's the episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where they uh, become trash men. It's fantastic. <sighs> Not my preacher. Nice. More? 
Yeah, you gave them two draw engines. What do you expect? I guess just that. That's what I was expecting. There's definitely removal here. I don't care, is the thing. Plus Adelphia, dude. Go for it. I understand your draw is so good, but look at the damage you're taking. And you can't stop that damage. It's like play shouldered or lose. Damn it! I love this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we still got it though. Very nice for us. Be a beautiful. We can just come in over top. All right. On the draw, keeping seven. All is well. We have uh, two slow lands to play. Let's get this out on three. Tiny Bones can chill for now. Mountain can go. Tiny on two. It enters without a problem. Third path. It is a mill deck, ladies and gentlemen. Bu -bu 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 Buckle up. Jace is a fair and playable card. It's true. I'm tossing cut down. I don't think they have any creatures. They force us to mill as well, but Rudel, Am and Cat further milling us. Wow, they got uh, two bone hordes. That's disgusting. Toss a land, grab a land. Toss a land. They milled a Jace. I will not mill on principle. I need more cards in my library. This eats removal. They have three in hand free casting from their grave. I believe it to be the Edict dealing with Gix. That is expected. That's fine. No, they take uh, my lily. Unexpected. I mean, it's more value. It's smart. All right, our entire hand is gone. There's going to be more discard. This is a draw. Let's just hit for as much damage as we can, though. And play the land. Double draw. Not terrible. Oh, Shieldred, my old friend. We've come to meet again. We definitely want to play the land. Maybe they just let us draw. I don't like that so much though, right? 
declining this. Still five damage. And it, like we could find removal here. I wish. They will be forced into removing tiny bones though, right? Two cards in hand. Let's see if they've got it. One. Oh. Okay. Down to eight. Ugh. At least it's something, Mac. What do they have? Well, that Jace. You know, sadly, I need to be defending. Which means this is just going to happen. Them forcing that attack, I don't think bothers me. I'm only going to swing with one. I can't afford the double draw, but we still need to make progress. And we're down to three on our draw. Their life gain really is uh, what's hurting us, right? So we're going to go down to 15. Oh, okay. They draw for more life. Exposing a second mind breaker. My mind is broken. Your staff is broken, Soramon. We could technically grab that one from them, could we not? With Tiny. Right? Frickin' land. That doesn't get us anything, though, because we're going to lose on the draw of it. I mean, we could arbitrarily take life gain. And do we care about the mill? Hmm. This is a tough one. Oh, we'll have to pay seven for it, though. And that doesn't blow up our plan because Shielder's gone now. Okay. Something I did not expect.
we are down to like six cards, five after the draw. Aye, aye, aye. There's the block. On Earth is gone. This is just a dead land. May as well take their shoulder. Gonna decline this. Nice, nice, nice. That's triple trigger. Six big ones. Did they get it? Oh my god. Becky, look at that mill. It's just so big. It's crazy. We have removal, but it's the like they just get it. That's awesome. I can't believe they get it. Ooh! -wee! <laughs> All right. Well, I mean. Ha ha! <laughs> Good game. All right. Um, will I ever go first? I just don't think that's a possibility anymore. Only mono red decks go first. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Get after it. Don't just hold back or anything. Oh, God. There's so much bad about this. Take their draw. Don't play third land. Still bad. Block here. That could be good. This will be better, though. Still take the life gain. Because we don't really want to block anyways. Brick, 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 brick. <laughs> You're the worst, HGG. Oh, I know. Don't, don't you worry. Ooh. So we're going to lose the bat from the scamp. Nice. Okay. I think worth it. Maybe. I mean, they're down to not much. Give me my fourth land. Well. I have a better idea. No, you go. Oh, you're long conning me, bud. Smart move. I need that fourth land so bad. That's actually beautiful. We're just going to leave it. Take it with our sorcery speed. Holding up instant. Where? Like, neither of us are drawing land. This is wild. There they go. Okay. 
picnic runner. You know, I still think we take it, don't we? Do we bat the other creature? Tolly's favor. Hopefully there's no draw. Or another spell. Only one card in hand. No way, no way, no way, no way. Get wrecked. Nice. And another one? No way! Bro! I love this game. Alright, uh, Mono White on the play. Looks like, oh, Soldier Deck. I just uploaded a Soldier Deck. So that makes me very happy to see it. I don't play Denik, though, because it's an illegal card. And it's not illegal, but... Um, it's, uh, not clearing rotation, which is pretty sad, right? It's a big hit to the soldier deck, but aside from that, soldiers is cooked. Like, it has all of the good cards. Nice, okay. It's a bit aggressive, you know, but it is what it is. Actually, gonna toss Inti, believe it or not. I think that we really need to curve above them and pray that they're not also using a secondary band card. Well, I'm, I'm saying it's a band card, it's not. Uh, I don't want to say it out loud. Should we look for it first? Yes, but you don't have five mana. So just face your consequences like a real magic player. Looking for Brutal Cathar on their side. Okay. Woo! Not terrible. We need our fifth land. And uh, this cavern bat taking their Harbin will be just poetic. That's not a land. That life gain is so good, though. Is it a Harbin? I will cry. No, nope, another officer. Is a, a mm, no. We're chilling. They go for it. Okay. I mean, I think it's probably worth it. Four damage on the turn. This is a look at and put into hand. That's their whole turn, though. Well, they could also. They should have sky strike off. Oh oh. They found it. Playing with the. Cards that rotate in their build. May as well, I guess, until it rotates, though, right? So we are in just, like, the deepest of pits here. We need a fifth land off the top. Do it. So much damage for them. Easy to block, too.
we will need to get very lucky. I shouldn't be letting them draw. We should maybe be attacking this whole time. I don't know. That's hard. That's a tough one. Those three found... That's too many foundries. I'm sorry. Oh, they do take Bone Horde instead of Shouldered. Interesting. Can they surpass us with a beatdown? Wow. Yeah, I think so. They can just go all in. That's crazy, dude. Nice draws. Yeah, 13 for 6. 7 confirmed. 8, it looks like. Down to 1. Or is that lethal? I missed the... I didn't see the frontliner. Good game. Ooh. Okay, good game, dude. Nice. I like soldiers. And it's just like this deck here. Super safe from rotation. It's only Denik, Thalia, and the Brutal Cathar that leave. Which is not that bad. Our opponent will be going first. We're a little bit slow here. We already have Gix. It can go. Interesting. Okay. This might mean trouble as these enchantments begin to stack. Let's just take what we can get while we can get it. Wrecked. Another creature out. Third land in play. Ossification taking Lily nice. That's pretty deadly. It's no fun when they hit back. We have four land. Building to five. Next turn. And then six on the following. going on over there or three um okay oh oh no block no death touch damage nice that's actually really good do they have more yeah this will still trigger right and at least then we get something <laughs> yeah 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 Okay. This is great for us. Good value here. I don't think we attack. Why not? Okay, I will. Land, fine, great. It was a decision I went back on. I've got a bad habit of doing that. I'll like make one decision and then like change my mind after I've already gone like halfway through that other decisions play line. <laughs> you do this? No? I guess apparently I'm supposed to think about it first, but sometimes I, I decide in the moment, you know? Such great value here. We're taking two damage. They're gaining two life, but we get good, 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 good card advantage. Let's see what's in that hand. A land. Events in play. I don't want to lose too much life with Gix. Hmm. 
Miss Maya says, uh, good game. So what did you think of the deck? It's pretty cool, right? And Rakdos is strong post-rotation. Like this... Did we lose anything? I don't even think so, right? Like, um, not cool. With that being said, Inti's ability is really cool. And the Hostile Investigator, I totally, while we were recording this, someone in Twitch chat came out and was like, hey, you know, what about this card? Yes. And now that's what I would like all of you to do as well, because then we can improve the deck as a community and just mop up these meta decks, you know. So I think that this it would be a very good addition. Whenever one or more player discards a card, investigate. And then we can sack that clue token to draw um, once a turn. So this, I think, could definitely go in the deck. It also forces our opponent when it enters for them to d discard. Um, so, you know, great, great addition to the build. It's a mythic, a little expensive. But if you've got it, you may as, may as well put a couple copies of this in there. Um, you could get crazy and maybe drop the bone horde and run that instead or drop shield red but uh you know at the end of the day we do like to have a mix of good synergies with uh just high value cards and uh that's where we do kind of farm that win rate from right but with that being said you know there's some cool additions um primarily this hostile investigator uh that could go in the deck of course you know just the powerhouse crutches that i hate Atali, Breach the Multiverse, sure. Maybe Cruelty of Gix, but then we have to have one of these, like if we say, let's like run three Cruelties in our minds here. Uh, then we have one Breach and one Atali, and we can tutor those out potentially, right? With the Breach, be it's uh, second trigger, search your library. I don't think I want to go there, but it's something that I consider. Also, you know, Chandra's a broken card within the, uh, the Rakdos color or red here, and you know, by golly, I'm sure someone's going to make that work as well. Shoulder's really good. We also like the Bat God, which we didn't include that should be in this list. Um, if I just search for it quickly, it'll go in the sideboard for us as well. Cards you can consider adding if you have them uh, that work really good. And this is uh, not us discarding, but with them discarding, which is still okay because we have Liliana's uh, plus ability that can kind of force that. Uh, we also have the hostile investigator, which could potentially force that as well. So I'd like to maybe put the bat in there potentially for us. Um, the plunderer, we, I don't think we need that. The scoundrel, you know, just good value early on. Uh, I was thinking about the stalker a, a, a little bit, right? So, you know, we're losing the harvester, right? That creature that can sacrifice itself to remove another. This is its replacement. Maybe we're discarding lots within the deck, which would descend, triggering it. Uh, should this be in the build? Maybe. But we're just running Tiny Bones because we think it's a good card too. <laughs> but, you know, things that we've definitely been thinking about, we want to share with all of you who've watched to the end. Uh, draw. We can force them to draw. If we get shouldered out, that could be cool as well, right? That would be a ton of damage. Um, and the, the tutor could be good. The freebooter. Uh, you know, can go. I don't care about that. It's, just, it's definitely not going to replace Tiny Bones or the Stalker by any means. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what we're working on, not only within this deck, but maybe even within potential builds. Uh, for Rakdos post rotation, super curious to see what Bloomboro has to offer us within the color pair here as well. And, um, you know, if it's not your cup of tea, don't worry. We've been doing a variety of rotation proof decks on the channel and we'll continue to do so as we wait for the new set i hope you've been enjoying you can like comment and subscribe to share your support uh, of course join the community discord introduce yourself say hello we'd love to have you you can share your deck here as well it's a great place to engage with the community and uh, of course have a magical day and i'm looking forward to seeing you soon in the next